Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, March 20, 25th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Ether where you can follow our trades and even copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. And as you can see, we did rally. Um, earlier in the session and then gave most of those gains back basically all of those gains back and created this inverted hammer here which is a really very shine and when the market basically opened uh, later on today we got an even lower level here and now we're trading at the 52,366 so we're right at the 50 minute average it looks like it's still holding we have pulled back here a little bit however technical indicators are looking dreadful for bitcoin so if we were to break the 50 then we could go significantly lower here in this uh, cryptocurrency market so if you look at the basically long Fibonacci retracement we could see this drop all the way down to 30 uh, the 50 uh, the first Fibonacci retracement which is at the 41 thousand seven hundred and fourteen then we could drop all the way down towards the 50 Fibonacci retracement that is at 30 uh, 5500 give or take and then all the way down towards 29,000 so this could get really ugly if the 50 moving, uh, moving average breaks we could drop significantly lower if we rally from here then we will find resistance at the 20 exponential at the 50 uh, 4k and beyond that we go to 60k and beyond that but at this current stage technical indicators are looking dreadful for bitcoin we have had these major pullbacks towards the 50 moving average and then we made um, basically higher highs after that so let's look at ethereum so ethereum has completely turned around we have a crossing here of the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average and we have not had a crossing of those moving averages we have to go all the way back here it's basically in october 2020 when this rally started so that is a very very worrying sign for for ethereum technical indicators at this current stage are well fairly mixed macd is still is very bearish we're going underneath the zero so it's becoming a negative trend here uh, stochastic is basically crossing the signal line to the upside becoming bullish while the cci and the rsi are becoming bearish so this is a worrying sign if we uh, continue breaking down here we could go all the way down to these previous lows and if they break at 1277 we could drop all the way down to 1000 if you look at the fibonacci retracements for this the long we could see that the first Fibonacci retracements were basically right here, where we had this rally or basically pullback from here, which is a give or take 1,386. Uh, uh, After that, we have the 50 right here at 1,181. And then we have the 61.8 at roughly 1,000, where we also have the 200 moving average. So this would most likely be an area where there would be significant support but this is not looking really good and uh, not looking good for each room this crossing here could basically have a massive flood to the downside rallies at this point will most likely be sold into when we get close to the 50 or the 20 exponential so let's look at cardano so cardano has fallen towards the 50 moving average and then has has basically pulled back so the 50 is holding at this current stage Taking in the they are all bearish at this point. If the 50 breaks, then we could have this drop significantly lower. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this, we can see the first one is right here at 0 0.95. Then we have 0 0.80, and then we have 0 0.65. So if the 50 breaks, then we can drop significantly lower. If we rally from here, we'll most likely find resistance at the um, 1.12 which is the 20 exponential and after that we are going to test these previous highs at 1.45 but not looking really good for for most of these cryptocurrencies but in this case the 50 moving average is holding quite well so let's look at litecoin 
So Litecoin has also dropped below the 50 moving average. We were also seeing this crossing of the 20 and the 50 moving average. We haven't seen that since basically October last year. And uh, that is a fairly worrying sign. It's very similar to uh, to um, to Ethereum, where we have the MACD bearish, stochastic becoming bullish, and the CCI and the RSI is bearish at this point. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement for this cryptocurrency, then we can see that the first Fibonacci retracement, which we basically have tested right here, is at one. Um, 170 which we have also pulled back quite um, significantly if this breaks then we'll head all the way down to uh, 140 uh, 146 and after that we have all the way down here at the 123 where we also have the 200 moving average so this could drop significantly lower rallies up towards the 20 and the 50 will most likely be sold into at this current stage so it looks like for most of these cryptocurrencies that the winds of change have basically changed there we are going in the opposite direction we have had this massive um, rally to the upside but now these moving averages are basically crossing and that is a very bearish sign so let's look at neo so neo has basically broken through the 50 moving average and then rallied again we're trading right underneath between the 50 and the 20 exponential technical indicators are looking very bearish at this point so it was looking really good until we basically completely fell apart here we're not trading underneath the 50 so that's an encouraging sign and the 50 is looks like it is basically holding but break below the 50 that could open the door to uh, 30 and then also the 200 moving average, moving average here at 23 dollars so let's look at dash so Dash has completely fallen apart here. We are trading well below the 50 moving average. We are on the crossing here of the 20 and the 50, which will further uh, increase this to the, to the downside. So 150 could be on then our next target, which is basically the previous highs here. After that, we can drop all the way down to the 200 moving average at $117. Technical indicators, they are all very bearish at this point. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement, for this, we can see that we have crossed the first Fibonacci retracement right here and also the second. And now we're heading towards uh, 61.8. That's at 172. If this breaks, then we can drop all the way down to 150 and then all the way down to the 200 moving average if that is the case. So... Rallies from here will most likely be sold into when we get close to the 20 and the 50 moving average. So, I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button above to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at eToro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.